and open titles. Right to that, he's world number one, he's defending champion, he's a former world champion. So he's never going to be thrust out on table five playing somebody who might... Gerard Green is the age 47. Good player, but just somebody who will find the experience tough, I guess, if you don't. Remains to be seen by his own admission. Gerard's been struggling for form of late, but he comes into this match. One. Uh, he'll be happy enough. He's going to put. Gerard Green in all. But you see, that's the difficulty with that shot is in trying to play something fan. The recent English Open as well. But that's a surprising miss. One. It's hard to believe he'll get a better one. Uh, I know he says a little bit on the right there. A couple of. Uh, Mark Allen received the, the trophy for the champ. But I think the irony of all ironies would be if Mark Allen was to win for a new player to win. Usually it's the establishment. The century is a pro. 21. Well, if he is going to win this match, he needs to... Seasoned professional. I don't seem to remember the match that took him off the tour was quite a volcanic player, I would say. And a miraculous gap between the two reds there to get on the blue. Goodness. That's when you complain about bad luck, you have to remember. 45. sinew went into that shot but he generated enough power fifty nine but potted it nicely with the rest and he's taken the rest very nicely well you're right they were just miss an easy ball and he sat in his chair and, and watched and the one thing about this game uh, it's a bit of a cliche Again, the whole kitchen sink was thrown into that shot, wasn't it? It started exactly as he would have hoped. Given a hoped. chance, and he's taken it. Given a chance, and he's taken it. 75. And no century here, but he won't care a jot about that. The most important thing is... Albeit that usually, even in these shorter matches, as we've seen throughout the history of the home nations, the cream. Oh. Not that you'd think it from that red. Stroked in, off the ball cushion as though it was over the jaw of the pocket. It's always been the case in snooker, and anyone who's watching who's played over the playing someone. If, uh, sometimes you see the result coming up, you don't see a lot else, you don't see it on the. 2006 was Trump's win on the European Tour. That was a teenager, 4-2. Well, he's played that very well. If he's played it around three cushions, like he reds here. Well, he's got hold of it too much. 16. Well, I mean, he couldn't didn't enter, but of the, most of the others that did, a lot of them went out. A few survivors, but big hitters like Selby and... Alan. Those four already tournament winners this season, and of course Neil Robertson has been runner-up.
in two big events, so some serious giant killing. It was after Christmas, but as far as the players in it, they've all deserved to get there, but there's a lot of big hitters not playing in it. It's a bit of a shame. Unless you're one of the ones that qualified. We started this match because both frames, all the safety has been at the black end, and that happens in snooker depending on configuration of the balls. But for the first two frames, that it's got a lot of because yeah, that's what the, it's like on the tour. Yeah, it's very difficult. We saw Mark, uh, Paul. Yes, and green is a ranking of. of the last frame because he lost it but it is difficult to play safe when the that was very tough though a lot of pressure on it knowing he was leaving the world if he missed it you just feel that sometimes it's better to play a shot that can get you yes the rewards would have been has been an intense Ronnie O'Sullivan I say here of course it was Belfast not Milton Keynes but in this tournament and in the last two years he's won 10 ranking titles 13. since winning this tournament two years ago 21 ticker tape mentioned one the inaugural Northern Ireland Open in Belfast in emotional circumstances. Ronnie O'Sullivan Judd Trump match, but I believe that was one of the best matches. At Belfast afterwards. At Belfast afterwards. Free Peach when he won his second world title in 82 against. Oh. Balls spread far and wide, but he's made up for it in this one. Um, 49. And 49, but only 51. Place in the round of 64 for the winner. And takes on David Lilly. And then this evening, the six times and reigning world champion Ronnie O'Sullivan begins his season. Takes on Ryan Day. So a lot of great snooker to look forward to on this opening day. Of course, O'Sullivan has been Runner-up. Well, he's taken a very positive approach to this shot. The Reds could finish anywhere here. And that is the issue. The shot he... Well, he's done quite well, actually, to get right up there. The That's not the worst shot. They're in play. <laughs> Well, that's what we used to call the shark shot. Great. It's tremendous queuing again, isn't it? Once again, he was bound to be leaving. One. Bit sloppy to hit the yellow. And lots. Nine. He was very good in that match. Judd was not good. Judd said he, he just wanted to get out of the place. Really, maybe for a day or two, and then names we mentioned who fell by the wayside. No, did lose heavily to Alan. Alan played exceptionally well. There will be days when you're not at your best, and your opponent plays better. That was one of them, but something close to his best, and that's why his consistency. Hey. He was already the worst kept secret that he was a talent, ability which has always been there. Whichever way you look at it, it's all that's come nice. to. Put under the cosh, he's produced some miraculous clearances when balls have been glued to cushions. Record against O'Sullivan, not phased by playing the very best in the world. In fact, the tougher the challenge, the more he embraces it. The final and arguably the best ever display over the two days of the Crucible final. But still only 31.
the left center very missable had he missed it once Six again one. green could have he was under no this match well but just one mistake can cost you the frame you might Eight, not what would be this 22nd century of this season last season just missing out on neil robertson's record of 103 Coming up next on the main table, Kyron Wilson against David Lilly. This evening, Ronnie O'Sullivan and Sean Murphy both in action. Oh, the mess. Oh. He's played a better shot than that, and that's why he's the world number one. I'm sitting here. <laughs> 75 in the first frame. Yeah, a bit of exposure. The sponsors will be pleased and all of that. But uh, in the European Masters, but maybe for... Else is on all the other high value. Strike earlier in this frame, he seems to have turned everything nice. around. But He's already fearful, and he's going to be two down with three to play. Trump's queuing, 105 in the previous frame. but you'd have expected him to get it nonetheless even so I can't uh, if in 10 minutes time he got a re-rack out of this he will it'll be absolutely spitting feathers over that last shot he played to, li to leave a red game okay. got the 12 penalty points courtesy of the good break off but 17. it's let him in Been pretty sharp stuff though from Trump, and perhaps that had to really sharpen the senses. Realise that could be good since then. Very nearly 93% is very good. Continue to look clinical now. And Green has not potted a ball in those three frames. So Trump needs just one more. Gao Yang of China awaits the winner in the round of 64. Coming up next, being the bill. Trump, of course, has won. Replicate that achievement last season with those record-breaking six ranking title successes in a single season. Extraordinary. Well, Green finally has another pot One. after sitting out the previous three frames. Game was very handy, but he was a score. After a frame against Tom Ford in German Masters qualifying, so. I guess sometimes when you've got uh, Especially on the forcing shots. Too bad there. Certain 